In this video, I'm going to go over the process of installing Ubuntu 14.04 LTS on a Raspberry Pi. I'm pretty much just following the directions on the Ubuntu Wiki. The uh, address is here on the screen, but I'm actually going to link to this in the description uh, so you can find it easily. To get started, you'll want to uh, open up the Wiki page and go to the download section and download the uh, package, which I've already done and it's in my download folder. Next you want to insert an SD card. I'm using a SanDisk Extreme Pro micro SD card and that's showing up here. And then we'll get into a terminal. I usually open up Spotlight to open up a terminal. I just hold down Command Space and it pulls up that prompt. So now I have a terminal loaded. I want to type in disk util list and this will show us which drives are available. As you see here this dev disk 3 is my 32 gig SD card. So you'll want to find up the find the drive that matches the uh, capacity of the card you put in. And hopefully you won't have any ambiguity where you uh, accidentally overwrite the wrong card. So next we'll move into the downloads directory. Since I'm in my home directory, I'll just type in uh, downloads. If I type in ls, it'll show me the package. I'll need to unzip this. So I'll type in unzip and the name of the package. If I type in ls, we'll see that there is a uh, an image file and then a bmap file. I don't have the uh, software to use the bmap file. I'll clear my screen here. Next, we'll need to unmount the SD card. So we'll type in disk util unmount disk dev disk 3. Next we need to write the image file to the drive so we'll type in sudo dd if for in file equals and then we'll type in the name of the file it's the .img file then out file equals dev R disk 3 ds for byte size equals 1m and hit enter it will ask you for your password okay when I'm typing in these commands I may not be saying everything that I type in um, but you want to type it in as I'm typing it in on the screen as you see it I may not be mentioning all the forward slashes and spaces and such and I'm also detailing how to do this on a Mac. It's going to be different on a Linux or a PC, but there's instructions online on how to write an image to an SD card. Okay, so that's finished. Then we'll type disk util eject dev disk 3. And now the card can be removed from the Mac and inserted into the Raspberry Pi. So next I'm going to pretty much go through the instructions on this list. Um, you'll want to go to the site and look through them and uh, to understand, but I'll be doing a couple other things too. So. Okay, so I've placed the micro SD card in my Raspberry Pi 2 and I've hooked it up to a monitor and keyboard. And uh, the first thing we see is the login prompt. The username is Ubuntu and the password is also Ubuntu. Before we get started on configuring, I want to overclock the Raspberry Pi. So to do that, I type in sudo space vi space forward slash boot forward slash config dot txt. And it'll ask me for my password. So I want to scroll down here to an open area and type i for insert. And then type in arm underscore freq equals 1000. This will overclock to 1 gigahertz. Then I want to type in core underscore freq equals 500. sdram underscore freq equals 500. And then over underscore voltage 
equals 2. And then I'll hit escape, colon, wq, and that will write it to the file. You can use another editor if you're more familiar uh, than using bi. Then I'll type in sudo reboot. Okay, the machine is rebooted, so I'll log back in with Ubuntu. Now, to confirm that we have overclocked, we'll type in sudo cat space forward slash sys forward slash devices forward slash system forward slash CPU forward slash CPU zero forward slash CPU FREQ forward slash CPU info underscore max underscore FREQ. And we'll see a thousand here telling us that we've uh, successfully overclocked the machine. The next step is to expand the partition. If I type in df space dash h, you'll see that it says there's 1.1 gigabytes available. And this is a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So in order to resize the partition, I want to type in sudo space f disk space forward slash dev forward, sp forward slash mmc blk zero. And this will put us into the f disk interface. You can type in p to print the partition table. What we want to do is we want to type d for delete, two for second partition. Then we want to type in n to create a new partition, p for primary, 2 for partition 2, and then we'll do defaults for first sector, defaults for last sector. Then we'll type in w, and now we'll reboot the machine once again. Type in sudo reboot. And we'll log in. And we'll type in sudo space resize 2fs space forward slash dev forward slash mmc blk 0p2. and it resize the partition. If we type in df space dash f, we'll see that we now have 28 gigabytes available on the partition. Next, we'll want to update the package manager, so we'll type in sudo space apt dash get update. Next, we'll install software to set up a swap file, so we'll type in sudo space apt dash get space install space D P H Y S dash S W A P F I L E. Okay, now that the swap is created, we'll need to uh, restart. So I'll type sudo space reboot. Okay, now that we have the swap file up and running, we'll log back in. Next thing what we're gonna do is install the uh, graphical environment and some other packages. So to do that, we'll type in sudo space app dash get space install and we'll first we'll do zubuntu space desktop then space open ssh server and then x server dash x org dash video dash fb turbo 
then lib raspberry pi dash bin and then lib raspberry pi dash dev then lib raspberry pi dash bin dash non free and then we'll hit enter it'll ask us for our password and we'll have a huge list of packages so this can be 1.3 gigabytes I'll say yes continue and now it will download and install all of these packages. This will take quite a while to do. I am actually using a proxy. I set that up. Um, I didn't record that portion uh, because I have a proxy in my house to make this process go a little bit faster for this video. And I'll also speed up the video. Uh, but if you're not using a proxy, it'll probably take a little while to download all these packages. Okay, so the package install is complete. So now we need to uh, create an X uh, org file uh, to configure the uh, window manager. So, so before I do that, I'm going to install one more package. It's uh, MG, which is an Emacs uh, style text editor. It's one I prefer to use, but you can use a uh, Nano or VI or Emacs or any other uh, text editor software where that you want. <clears throat> okay, so next what we need to do is we need to type in sudo space whatever editor you're going to use, I'm using mg space forward slash etc forward slash capital X eleven forward slash xorg dot c o n f Then we need to type in section space quote device quote space identifier space quote raspberry space pi space fb dev driver space quote FB turbo option space quote FB dev quote space quote forward slash dev slash FB zero quote option space quote swap buffers weight quote space quote true quote and then end section so hopefully you're not going my my voice to type this all out uh, if you go to that link um, I'll put in the description on how to config this you can actually read it there it'll be a little bit more accurate uh, so now we'll close this out and we can uh, reboot the machine Okay, we're rebooted and this uh, booted into the window manager and our password is still Ubuntu. So I'll type that in. And it takes a little while to load. Uh, of course, this is the first boot also, so I don't know if there's any uh, config files being written. And here we are with Ubuntu running on a Raspberry Pi. We can go up to the upper left hand corner here and go to web browser.
I've sped up previous portions of the video, but I'm not speeding this up right now. So you get an idea of what the time is. And there you have it. That's the, the process to install Ubuntu 14.04 on a Raspberry Pi 2. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please uh, click the thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting another video uh, doing a little bit of a performance comparison. I did a previous video. I'll link to the previous video in the description. And I'll uh, do a... Uh, short video on performance of this i'll do a couple different tasks and uh so you can see how that compares so thanks for watching bye